Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome, welcome back to another Fantasy Star new update. We got up some information about some of the things that going to be coming as far as open beta concern and a little more on the free-to-play side of some of the stuff we're going to be able to uh, buy, add to our character, and get a lot when the game comes out on the 17th of March. Before we hop into breaking down everything that's going to be up for sale and going to be available during the open beta over on the F-Bot 1, I am going to be doing a 24 plus hour stream over on twitch.tv slash 20 show uh, where we're going to be uh, starting at 6.30 p.m. of Central Time and uh, we are going to pretty much hit the ground running in PSO 2 on Relate Night and hope the servers are working. Make sure you come on over. Hit that follow button and get ready to jump on some spaceships with us. So, with that, let's get into what you will be able to pick up day one for Fantasy Star. Starting off is, of course, the Sonic the Hedgehog Edition Founder Pack, of which it is going to be available a day one for a $59.99 over on the Fbot 1. And as you can see, the main draw of this little add-on is, of course, all the random thing that you're going to have for Hell Tile outfit. And also, we'll have some emotes and whatnot available with a whole bunch of other stuff we will go over momentarily. Uh, but outside of Sonic stuff, you are going to also be able to pick up some uh, tail equipment as well if you want to be more uh, miles in this. And with some custom animation with tail flying and of course with Sonic being able to go into speed mode. With of course the animations you can see a white heel with getting around on the ship or just hovering around. But outside of some emo and of course the outfits, let's go ahead and hop into the actual blog post here. And go over some of the other stuff that will be available within the pack as well. Which we actually have a decent amount of stuff outside of the outfit. And of course you do get a, a knuckle a weapon a camo. Uh, if you're not aware of exactly what this is, is think of it as a, a grammar system similar to Final Fantasy XIV. With making your weapon look a certain way, any of that not what the weapon is. And you also get a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, right along with some memories that can be used for unlocking random items and whatnot. Which we will get to in more detail when we get to a second available DLC pack that will also be available on launch. And of course, the stuff that is mainly the important part here, and what I feel like is the main draw here for the 60 bucks, is of course the inventory fate bonus to add 10 more inventory faces to your character, uh, and with a total of 50 since it is 5 of these. And if you played the quote beta, you would know that inventory fate is massive, but at the same time, with how much loot is in the game, when it out bait is doable. Because I think within like a day and a half, I will put my out of base. And which in return will probably equal a lot of inventory management for me when we get back into the game. And then we also have our main like subscription plan here. Which is the subscription plan going to work similar to the way it does in uh, JP edition. It mainly going to be of course uh, unlocking the ability to do auction house stuff, train with players. And a little stuff like that that will probably come in handy, especially uh, if you want to, I guess, work the system of actually making the currency in the game. Uh, so yeah, that right here is of course a consumable that will instantly give you 30 days. I do not know if it will be available separate as of now. I believe you can of course pick it up uh, in JP, so it should be. Uh, we will see it available standalone once the game actually come out. And of course you also get a mission pack gold ticket as well, but you only get one of these, which a little odd, because I get the better way to think of these missions that are available i believe every day i think they're tied to daily let me know in the comment if i'm accurate about that or not uh but it pretty much i get the way to put it is unlocking special missions that are tied to the tickets and then of course you also have some more character storage which is fantastic 
uh, with of course another uh, what was that two hundred and fifty ish base called some bonus aid to your affiliates uh, a whole bunch of grinder which i'm actually interested in that since that actually going to come in handy for leveling up items and weapons and armor and whatnot uh, of course you get ac glass shop ticket which i get the best way to think of glass shop tickets is you have an option up three items and what you pick it kind of random it seems anyway uh with distant items potions outfits and whatnot that you can unlock uh and uh, yeah pretty pretty much here is everything you get for 60 dollars uh like i said the main thing for me is the court mainly uh the emote the sonic the uh the, the subscription for 30 days and mainly also the inventory base so that will be available of course for 59.99 on the 17th and also with that uh, we will go ahead and get into what our second little add-on that will be available on launch for pso2 so here is the second little add-on that will be available which honestly is probably the neatest in some ways i get more nostalgic is of course unlocking original pso1 character skins which you know if you are nostalgic for the dreamcast edition of pso and you have some money to spend it might be up your alley it of course gonna release i believe the same day yes uh, March 17th uh, for $29.99. The thing is about this is half of the price of the Sonic pack. You get the memory unit again, which once again, this is how you will unlock the outfits uh, since these are 10 and you get to pick what you want. So this is not one of them cases of you spend $30, you get everything. Uh, you mainly just get the ability to pick which outfits you want. And of course, you also uh, will get another a 30 day subscription. A pass heal, another uh, chance at the golden ticket stuff, which was the, the special mission we talked about earlier. And of course, 12 more quote-unquote loot boxes, I guess, as well. With the memory, not only the outfits are available, which you get, of course, in, I believe, the shopping district, isn't it? Yes, shopping plaza, and you trade the item to unlock many, many other things. And he'll a roughly a breakdown list of the might be hats, outfits, uh, portal for your house. Also saying a whole bunch of more stuff as well. And of course, you can unlock uh, music inside your home. Since Fancy Thought do got housing system, which you can add furniture or move stuff around. Pretty much decorate your own little house as you see fit. And of course, you can trade the item for music as well. Might it be from PS1, Episode 2, so on and so on. So the thing is about that. This is going to be mainly a pack that is, like I said, more on the nostalgic side, but also uh, more so giving you option to unlock certain outfits and stuff. This pack here, it looks like you can buy multiples up and, of course, try to unlock everything. Which is a little deep for 30 bucks for what you are getting here with, of course, the 10 item soundtrack house and items. Uh, the sound of course, the asset to the quote unquote loot boxes and a specialty uh, mission and the more premium set 30 day pack as well. So, is it one really worth 30 bucks? Personally, I don't kind of feel like it is. I guess it's all going to come down to how much nostalgia you have. And also, I'm kind of curious to see if uh, it's a way to actually see or preview all the items to make a decision if it really worth it or not for you. Yeah, this is something that will be available. I am still personally hoping. Uh, that most of this stuff will be sold in the visual for hopefully a little less. Uh, cause I could see like maybe the memory is selling for like two or three bucks a piece. Uh, which I get technically buying it in bulk would be cheaper. But then again, that pretty much how the free to play game work out. Uh, so if you are interested in unlocking fancy star music, outfits, and supposedly if we go by this up here, a lot more other stuff outside of weapons, outfit, housing stuff, music. Uh, that will be also available to you. So, this pack, for me personally, I'm not as interested in. The Sonic pack, I'm actually interested in. Uh, just because mainly a lot of that item that is in that pack is a little more useful to my desires. Uh, but don't get me wrong, the, the original PSO1 outfits are really neat. I just kind of wish uh, it were more a consistent pack. 
But then again, they are affecting you to buy that pack multiple times, so, uh, yeah. Hopefully, there will be a way to just buy single outfits or whatnot without having to spend 30 bucks. We will see when the game actually comes out on the 17th, and we will figure that out together, I guess. And, uh, yeah, that is pretty much the most stuff as of now for Fantasy Star News. And also, I recommend... Subscribing to the channel of White Heel for everything you need to know about Fantasy Star, from tutorial to how to, I get apparently the same thing. News, gameplay, everything you need to know about Fantasy Star, this is the channel for you. And once again, if you are interested and want to play with me and the rest of our community over on Twitch, make sure you come on over, hit that follow button, and be prepared for our 24 hour stream. That will be starting around 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time on uh, March 17th, uh, which is, I believe, a Tuesday, over on twitch.tv slash pony show, link right here. And, uh, yeah, we will have all the Fantasy Star goodness happening over there. So come on over, let's jump on our ship, and let's see if we can uh, crack the soul. Well, actually, let's hope we don't. Because I think last time, jumping in and do it so we should be good so uh, with that that would do it for me my dude so uh, let me know in the comments what is your opinion of the two uh little dlc pack that will be, be available day one are you gonna pick them up or are you gonna pick them up when they come available on other system uh since i don't believe we have information as far as if what you buy on the Xbox will carry over in every other version uh, but we will see if that account uh, quad play is a thing like it is in the JP edition. We will call it that bridge when we get there. Personally, I have the Sonic one I'm interested in. The second one, like, eh, maybe. We will see. Either way, let me know in the comment your opinion. And with that, I will catch you all in the comments.